Happy Holidays, it's just around the bend, the 56th annual Light Up Night in Pittsburgh, and of course, News Radio 1020 KDK, CBS Radio, is your source for Comcast Light Up Night. About 300,000 people expected to be there. Just kind of let me run down this list. Keep you a kid at heart on Light Up Night. Horse drawn carriage drives, photos with Santa, ice skating, music, and of course, food and fun and fireworks. People's Gas Holiday Market, it is. Market Square with unique gifts, perfect for that hard to buy person. It opens Light Up Night and will remain open until December 23rd. Also, in Market Square, check out the tree with 150,000 LED lights. Then you can drop by Santa's house for a visit. PPG Place, you can lace up your skates and get warm. With a stop at the Winter Garden with the 15th Annual Gingerbread Display and Spirits of Giving Around the World Exhibit. Fifth Avenue Place, always love that place. And the Highmark Unity Tree and the lighting hosted by Mr. McFeely on the corner of Penn Avenue Place. And that will be at 7 o'clock. Then head over to Stanway Street to check out awesome ice carving demonstrations. This year, Fifth Avenue Freeze will feature Arctic Ice Animals. Also inside Fifth Avenue Place, great music, food, shops, and balloon art. U.S. Steel Tower, and thanks to the good folks at the Keystone Mountain Lakes Regional Council of Carpenters and the Catholic Diocese of Pittsburgh, this is an amazing and incredible event. Maybe the best part of Light Up Night in the entire holiday season, because it is the reason for the season. The real meaning of Christmas, the Pittsburgh crash is back again. It's the only authorized replica of the crash that's on display at St. Peter's Square in Rome. It's absolutely awesome. I have been there. You'll love it. Downtown, the Holly Trolley and those old-fashioned horse-drawn carriage rides, they will run from Light Up Night through December 23rd. Fort Duquesne Boulevard, Stanwyck Street, and EQT Plaza singer Andy Grammer, and loads of great entertainment. The night will end with the BNY fireworks. So, have a great time, enjoy yourself, and don't forget Amy Mock from our promotion department and everyone at News Radio 1020 KK and CBS Radio would love to see you there. Enjoy the evening and happy holidays from your Pratt Pack. Headlines. All right, Senate Republicans plan to include a repeal of the individual mandate, a key piece of the Affordable Care Act in their new tax plan reform efforts. It's a move that dramatically raises the stakes for President Donald Trump and congressional Republicans who are still looking for a single substantial legislative accomplishment to deliver the, to the American people this year. A furious commentary published in a state-run newspaper today in North Korea saying President Trump had displayed his true colors as an old lunatic, mean trickster, and human reject during his recent visit to the Korean Peninsula. The commentary also said the worst crime for which he can never be pardoned, that he dared to hurt the dignity of the supreme leadership of North Korea. We're going to talk more about this on the Mike Pintech Show coming up Friday. It has really come to a head. What do we do with Kim Jong-un and North Korea? And will the people that he just visited, the president, get support? It will be much needed. All right, Zimbabwe's military leaders have seized control of the impoverished Southern African nation, placing veteran leader Robert Mugabe under house arrest and deploying tanks to the streets of the capital. The motive behind a shooting rampage in Northern California yesterday remains unclear, but authorities say a dispute with a neighbor may have led the gunman to carry out his deadly outburst. In all, the shooting spanned seven sites, leaving four people dead and wounding at least 10 others before the police killed the shooter. The gunman has not been publicly identified, but was known to law enforcement. The man arrested in January on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon in a case that involved a neighbor who was among those found dead. The woman had a restraining order against the shooter. Sports, Connor Sheary got the game-winning goal in overtime. Pens beat Buffalo 5-4. They're off today. They'll be at Ottawa tomorrow night for a game at 7.30. And of course, the Steelers at Heinz Field taking on Tennessee tomorrow evening. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your day from your Pratt Pack. Good afternoon.